Bright suns, everybody, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today, we're back again with a Galaxy's Edge update. I know we just did one. Yeah, what the heck, so soon? Yeah, so many things have changed. There's gonna be a new Legacy lightsaber, another one. There's even more Galaxy's Edge merchandise at Target. And Savi's Workshop is actually reopening. Yeah, how exciting. Come with us on this adventure. A couple weeks ago, Galaxy's Edge merchandise came to Target. We took you on this adventure, showing you almost all the stuff we could find. We went to like four Targets? Yeah, we showed you as much stuff as we saw that day, but we've been back to Target since, and we actually found like some more random stuff that we didn't see the first time. Yeah, so let's roll the footage. Yeah. I've seen some people posting some stuff from the Galaxy Z trading post that we did not see in the store. So I'm wondering if like they're in different sections of Target. So I found two different t-shirts. One is of R2-D2. It's like a blueprint. And on the bottom it says Droid Depot official issue. It has some error bash on there. And the other is of a first order TIE fighter. On the bottom it says Black Spire Fleet. And it has some error bash. Look what I found. It's part of the Galaxy's Edge collection. Yeah. They also oh. have an R2-D2 oh, one. No. Where'd you find it? Right over in the men's t-shirt section. Cool. I love it. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I had no idea this existed. I feel I, like it would be cooler if it had the tie in, like the, uh, what do you call that thing? The tie echelon that's over in Black Spire. But yeah. yeah, it's still cool. Yeah. Here's a bag for industrial automation and it has some like blueprint print on it, has BB-8. It's a little kid's bag, but it's cute. I was gonna say, it almost looks like a lounge fly backpack, but I don't, <laughs> don't think. <laughs> no, it's not gonna. No? Okay. It is cute. Last time we were here, I said this was a set of Sabacc cards, but this is actually playing cards. They're just like playing cards in the shape of Sabacc. So they have like hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds. Yeah, so you don't want those? You're a card, you collect cards. You're a magician. In case you guys didn't know, Peter's really a magician and he does collect cards. Sure, let's get them. Sure, let's get them? Yeah. Okay, I feel like I really had to like twist your arm <laughs> there. Last time we were here for the Galaxy's Edge toys, we were looking for the Funko Pops and, oh look. It looks like they actually have them. So this is M5R3. And I believe this is the droid that you see getting a bath, like right outside Droid Depot. <laughs> They're making noise. Oh, look, they have the other one. CB6B. I don't think he's actually in Galaxy's Edge anywhere, but. So yeah, those are both part of the Galaxy's Edge collection. I would have no idea that this was the child if it didn't say the child on the side of the, the water cup. I heard there might be some Galaxy's Edge stuff that we missed in the home section, so I'm gonna go look over there. So I found some more stuff from the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge trading outpost. It's like a wooden... Oh. It's like wooden Yoda oh, you that you just it. like... Are you hanging it? Yeah. Oh. I thought you could just put it on the shelf. I guess you could hang it. That's so random. But they also got... What else do they got back there? They got a droid. They got Chewie. Huh. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have a holocron mood light. Oh, I thought it was gonna talk. No, it's probably like just like a light for your That's like... That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. I actually think that looks cooler than the holocrons in Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, but it doesn't talk. Yeah. <laughs> Can't put your kyber crystals in it. But the thing I was really looking for were these signs. Let's see, these are like metal. Ooh. Yeah. And it's like an R unit, right? Yeah. And there's also a BB-8 back here too. Is it BB? Yeah. Yeah. Those I thought really fun. It says Droid Depot, has some air bash on it. And it looks like, like 
I feel like on the screen it looks like it's like cardboard or something, but that's like metal. Yeah. This is like good quality and such like a cheap price too. Yeah, eleven seventy nine. That's like a great deal. It is. How much is the holocron? Does that's not the question. say. It does not say. Hmm. Pillow, 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 mug. Well, look at all the stuff that was supposed to be here that's <laughs> not here. Oh, yeah, I think it might be twenty three ninety nine. You know what? This might be cool to like have like in the background of our videos. Yeah. I, we get I support you 100% if you want this. Okay, let's get it. Get this, and then also <laughs> our giant pumpkin, because we are adults. <laughs> Don't forget your, your pineapple hard cider. Yeah. <laughs> so I think one of the lessons for today is that if you're looking for some of the Galaxy's Edge merchandise at Target, don't just look over in the toy section. There's also, it's spread all around Target. Okay, so we found some more stuff here. There's these decorative pillows, which are like <laughs> gigantic versions of the, can you hold that so we yeah, can see? Yeah, it looks just like the, the ones that you could get inside Galaxy's Edge, just like giant. Yeah, the Toy Darian toy shop ones. So they have Yoda. They have. R2. They have, oh my gosh. I don't know why they call it a pillow. It's more like a stuffed animal. Oh my gosh, I need all of these. And they also have a Chewy. Look at the Chewy. Actually, is he part of the same line? I don't know. Wait, what's huh. this? Oh, this is just an alligator. <laughs> I thought it was a Star Wars creature. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chewie is part of the same line because this has the Galaxy's Edge tag. So. Cool. Oh my god, look at this. What? <laughs> I have a giant Chewbacca, like, lounging pillow. Do you need it? It's like arms are hugging you. <laughs> There's nothing better than Chewbacca hugging you. Oh my god, it has a handle. This is perfect. Name a more perfect pillow, I dare you. <laughs> so just for reference, in our Target, this section, this end cap, is right next to the kids' room section in the home. So if you're looking for it, that's where it is. So there's even more stuff than we just showed you. There's more stuff that we still have not seen. Like there's these really cool stickers. What, what section of Target are these stickers in? Because we searched and searched and we could not find these stickers. I really don't know, but I want that Batu yeah, sticker. Yeah, I want to put that on my car. That's so awesome. Yeah, it shows the skyline of Batu, and there's a Join the Resistance and has the Millennium Falcon. I mean, that one may as well not be a Galaxy's Edge sticker, but the other one yeah. I totally want. That's cool. And there's also posters. We went to two Targets this week. We did not see the posters anywhere. We didn't. We, 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 we saw a bunch of Baby Yoda posters for some reason. These are from the postcards that they sell at Jewels of Bith. So we have these in postcard form. So there's like the Endor. Which, oh, that is amazing. Yeah, so that's not really Galaxy's Edge, Hoth. Yeah. It's kind of like a travel poster to Hoth, travel poster to Tatooine. But this one is really cool. Wow. So that's kind of like a map of Batu. It was like the same thing that was found on like the back of those like trading cards that they give up, give out at Galactic Knights. But it's really kind of cool. So there's still stuff that we have not seen anywhere yeah. in Target. So next time you're at Target, keep your eye out. You, you really never know what you're gonna find. There could even be more stuff that like we don't even know about yet. Yeah. It's funny that you mentioned that because there's actually stuff coming to Target from Galaxy's Edge that has not been released yet. Oh my gosh, more and more stuff. Yeah, so on November 3rd, our friend Amy Radcliffe is releasing a book. It's a children's book. Yeah. It's called Ely and Me, and it's about Sal Jew. Sal Jew? Sal Jew. Star Wars names are hard. Sal Jew. <laughs> Anyways, it, it is the woman who runs the Black Spire station where like the speeder, the speeders and stuff are. Uh huh. I guess the story is set when she's a kid and she develops this special bond with this theory, which is named Ewey. And <laughs> you see the picture of it here. So cute. It looks like a little pig. It looks like a little, yeah, like a little miniature pig. A little miniature pig like I've always wanted. And we don't know much more about this. We just know that it's set on by two and that we're gonna see some other familiar faces. So I'm sure we're gonna run into Doc Ondar and 
And we know that there's a cute little pig looking thing. Yeah. That's all you really gotta know. So that comes out November 3rd and I'm guessing there might be more Galaxy's Edge merchandise in Target around that. That's so exciting. You guys might remember from our last Galaxy's Edge updates video, we talked about Savi's workshop and that it might be reopening soon because all the actors in the union came to an agreement finally and we were like, oh, it'll probably open in a couple months. No, it as of September 20th, which was just a few days ago, it is now open. Yeah, and we actually have some footage here from Laughing Place. They have some video of this experience. Here's like the differences. Yeah. So the waiting areas have these numbered social distancing markers on the ground to keep people of course. six feet apart. They stagger the entry into the workshop. The gatherers all are wearing masks, of course, as are you. And they're using every other workshop desk. So that means about nine of the 14 places to build a lightsaber are being used. That's, that makes sense. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that there is no plexiglass. Yeah, there's no plexiglass dividers. You can still touch all the parts. No gloves. You don't have to wear gloves. So it seems like it's pretty much the exact same experience except you know, you're wearing a mask and the gatherer is wearing a mask, which is awesome. So I would say if you're going to Disney World and you want to book your lightsaber, yeah. make book your lightsaber. <laughs> if you want to make, if you want to create your own custom lightsaber, I say do it because it's pretty much the same experience. And I was worried that like they were going to totally, you know what I mean? Like it wouldn't yeah. feel the same. Get your reservation because I'm sure with less people for <laughs> yeah. a time period, and it taking more time to get people in, in and out of there, it's probably gonna fill up fast. Yeah. yeah, you're right. So try to get a reservation <laughs> if you wanna build your lightsaber. You guys might remember last week when we went to Downtown Disney in California and they opened up a surprise Galaxy's Edge shop in Downtown Disney called Star Wars Trading Posts. And we were speculating, you know, that's just cause the, you know, Disneyland's not open yet. We were wrong. They're opening up Another one in Florida, and Disney Springs there, and they're even gonna start selling Galaxy's Edge merchandise online. Yeah, as of the time that you're watching this, you can go to Disney Springs and go to that Star Wars trading post, and they have even more merchandise than we have here they in California. They do? Yeah. Why is everything better <laughs> in Florida? What is going on? But the big news <laughs> is they're gonna be selling the merchandise online on shopdisney.com and that's going to start happening at 7 a.m on september 28th yeah so mark your calendars now we don't know what they're going to be selling but they do show a couple of things here which seems to indicate some of like the wardrobe like jedi robes or ray's costume but it also shows darth vader's lightsaber so legacy lightsabers are up for grabs online what made galaxy's edge special is you had to go to galaxy's edge to get the lightsaber but that being said, I know a lot of people couldn't go and they really want a lightsaber. So it's like... Yeah, and there were smugglers out there that were flipping <laughs> yeah. smugglers. them on eBay. Making people would send money. us messages being like, can you get me this? And we're like, no, no. We, we can't do that, sorry. Yeah, so on one hand, I like that people out there that don't have the money cannot travel. Do you know what I mean? There's a yeah. lot of people that aren't gonna travel for a while can now get this stuff online. But on the other hand, half of what Galaxy's Edge is, is a store. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like That's you're true. there to shop yeah. and what makes some of that stuff special. It's not that like, I love having like a thing on my shelf and being like, oh, that's limited edition. You can only get that yeah. in Galaxy's Edge. But it does make it special when you're buying it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like Now they need to just start selling Ronto wraps <laughs> and blue milk online and then I'll be happy. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How that even work? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining what kind of packaging blue milk would have to come in. <laughs> Disney, just make saying, it happen. They, they got the power to do it, so. Listen, I get it. Disney needs to make the money. They have this overstock. They need to get rid of it. Their parks haven't been open. They're losing money. They need to <laughs> recover the money. Mm -hmm. I just wish, I just wish 2020 never happened. Is what <laughs> it's basically what I wish. Pretty much. All right, before we talk about our final subject, which New is lightsaber. lightsabers, we need to thank some of our Patreons. That includes B. Jordan, JJ Manalert, Heather Price, and Kimberly Moore. May the force be with you all. Okay, so lastly, let's talk about the new lightsaber that is coming to Galaxy's Edge, and it is going to be determined by you. Yeah, they put out six different lightsabers and you get to vote for whichever one you want the most. We all were hoping for a new lightsaber and we're finally gonna get it and it's so fun because we have the power to decide what it's gonna be. We get to vote 
They give us six choices. That said, the six choices are not what I expected at all. Yeah, they're very random. Personally, I've been wanting Leia's lightsaber. I've been wanting Rey's lightsaber. Neither of those are a choice. But there are some, you know, some other fan favorites on there that I'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited about. You think that those two aren't on there because they're already in production? I'm assuming that I has to be the case. I hope so. Like, I have never wanted a lightsaber more than I want Leia's lightsaber. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I want Rey's lightsaber. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's talk about the choices here. First one is Anakin Skywalker from Attack of the Clones. So this is his lightsaber from the prequels. It kind of looks like Darth Vader's lightsaber. It does. But it has kind of a silver top to it. I feel like if that doesn't win, I'm going to be shocked. Well, it's not in the league. I know, which is, well, let you know what is. Yeah, th- th- this thing, the thing about this is it seems like it would be very easy for them to make it because they just need to like, they already have the parts. Yeah. They, they just got to change out one little piece of it. That's true. The other ones we have here is Qui-Gon Jinn from Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Yeah. This one's kind of cool. It looks like it's very black. It's very basic. I yeah. like it. The ones that I am personally excited for, I'm not sure about you, I haven't talked to you about this, are the Star Wars Rebels ones. They have Ezra Bridger's lightsaber, which I think is really cool because it has that small, that big top and goes to small, kind of like Luke Skywalker's um, Return of the Jedi lightsaber. Yeah, his is really cool looking. I know a lot of people I talked to, they wanted like his, his half blaster, half saber. But I don't think Disney could sell the, right? Is that why you don't think, or it might be too hard to like, well, 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 Disney Parks has committed to not selling guns of any kind. Oh, okay. Well, that explains they, that. I think they sell bubble gums. Guns. Bubble gums. Bubble gums. <laughs> no, they don't. They actually don't sell bubble gums. I know. They sell bubble guns. Oh. But, so the question is, would they sell a collectible lightsaber that was half blaster, half? Probably not. No. But Kanan, what do you think of Kanan's? Kanan's is also cool looking. I think Ezra's is a little bit cooler. Yeah. But I am a fan of Kanan. This next one, I think actually is the cool one of the coolest looking ones. This is the one that's winning. This is from Jedi Fallen Order, a game that we have not played I yet. I know. It's Cal's lightsaber. It's so cool. I love the tip of it and the bottom of it, how it's like yeah. all like messed up on the bottom. I do think that this is a cool lightsaber. It's just, I don't have a personal connection to it because I have yet to play the game. Mm-hmm. But it seems like we are in the minority. Yeah. <laughs> if that one won, I wouldn't be mad at it. This last one, I think, is the most random, even more random than Cal's. Yeah. It is, what is his name? Lord Cor- Corvax. Yes, this is from the Vader Immortal VR game, which I have yet to play. We have it, and I have yet to play. Like, I don't even understand how this lightsaber works. It's cool. It's kind of medieval. Yeah. It looks like a sword. But it has like, it looks like it has the kyber crystal in the top of it. I'm not sure how this would work with a blade. Yeah, I don't understand it, but I want to understand it. Anyways, if you want to vote on this poll, we'll put a link to that in the video description below. Vote for Ezra. Yeah. Just kidding. Vote for whatever you want. (laughs) They're all cool. But it looks like everybody disagrees with us because Ezra Bridger is the lowest (sighs) voted here with 6%. Because they want the gun. They want the blaster. If you want to relive us building our lightsabers at Savi's workshop, yeah. we'll put a playlist right over there. Yeah, check it out. It was so much fun. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.